From film to television to video games, computers have completely changed the face of animation, making today's computer animated media more lifelike and amazing than ever. But when you get down to it, there's an element to this process that has been there since the very first cartoon, and that would be traditional 2D animation. Hence the reason we are here with Kathy Blackmore, course director. How are you? Very good. How are you? Sweet. Kathy teaches 2D animation, one of the fundamental courses in the computer animation degree program. Before students ever even touch a computer, they are handed a pencil and paper. One of the first exercises that they're taught is how to animate a bouncing ball. A bouncing ball? Yeah, a sphere. That doesn't sound very exciting. <laughs> we can't draw monkeys or spaceships? <laughs> All right, so um, after this drawing, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna show you, I've left like a few drawings for you to do. All right, the, bounce, the ball is going to actually drop down. Uh -huh. This is on the ground. Okay. So what has to happen though, if the ball doesn't change shape, mm -hmm. all right, we can't tell if anything happened. Okay. All right? So um, in fact, let me show you something. Animators will often reference real life items to get a better idea of how to animate objects in motion. For this exercise, Kathy used a water balloon to show me what she calls the squash and stretch. In this water balloon, there's a specific amount of water, uh -huh. right? So it's not going to change if I squish it. It's not going to change if I stretch it up like this, all right? The water, the amount stays the same. Okay. So what's really important in animation is that the volume of the object doesn't change. What really is important is the shape, okay? So when okay. we change the shape of something, we're actually giving our audience a visual clue that there are forces at work. All right, I can do this. Sounds simple enough, right? Kathy had already done a few drawings, so all I had to do was fill in the blanks. But of course, it was a little more complicated than just drawing a circle. All right, let's draw a ball. Okay, so what you want to do is show that the forces are acting upon this ball, right? So you want to okay. squash it like the something imaginary, is squishing it down. Okay, so that's our visual clue that something's happening. You got I the need ground. my ground. Right. <laughs> so look at all of this stuff, this the so top go, of the ball, right? Exactly. You displace outwards. it, just like the balloon. Like when but, I eat chocolate cake. So you said eight years. How long did it take you to get good at this? Well, um, probably eight years. That's the thing. Yeah. It's an ongoing process. So you're still but learning. Yes, absolutely. Every animator I've ever met is always trying to learn and do better and just get better and better. But, you know, the one thing that you want to do in production is pick up speed. Oh. Well, I'm not, well, okay, well, here. Do you have two more? <laughs> you just have two not? more drawings to do, and those are the most oh, fun. Oh, goodness. Remember? Oh, the squish and stretch. Yeah, the squash. Oh, Remember squash. Remember your vegetables, squash it's, and it's stretch. Squash and stretch. That's what we do at the gym. <laughs> the variations of each drawing are what gives you the illusion of motion once the ball is animated. Kathy showed me that we can preview what it's going to look like using the flip technique. Ah, oh, and I wanted to draw a monkey. So now, so basically we finished our drawing and we're here in, what, what do you call this? We could call it a down shooter, we could call it uh, I like testing. down shooter. Yeah, down shooter, that's okay. really what it is. So we have a camera on a stand uh -huh. with some lights so we can see our work. Yep. And it's all connected to a computer. So we take a picture of each, each drawing. drawing. Right, and we're kind of in the middle of it here, so let's take a picture of this one. And guess what's next? Your My squishy. beautiful squished ball. Woohoo! All right, there it is. And that's the last shot. And there's your finished product, all rendered out. And that ball is bouncing. If it takes this much effort for one second of animation, you can only imagine how much time goes into a full-length feature film. So next time you're watching a cartoon, don't blink. This animation stuff, it's hard work.